Hello, hi there, it's been a hot mess, I've done a speed paint, so let's hop right into it. I'm doing the 10 art style challenge because it's been on my list for ages. So the art styles I picked for this one are ones I admire or inspire me in some way. And those are in order, Toilet Bound Hanukkah, Lavender Town, Rivzy Pop, Unknown Spy, Psyche Toyas, Earth Today, Jin Jin, J O W O, My Hair Academia, Raspberry, and Luixi. I am sorry if I mispronounced any of those names. Uh, the individual artist socials will be linked down below, along with, along with mine. So with that being said, uh, let's get into it. We'll be drawing Sprout for the speed paint because they're easy to draw, so get used to seeing a lot of my gremlin cat. So first up is Toilet Bound. This one was a bit hard because there aren't a lot of cats in it, with the exception of Yako, even though she's technically a fox, not a cat. So I guess Sprout's a fox in this one. I don't really know. I mean, I, go, I, mean, I guess foxes are related to cats in some way. Anyway, um, the overall style in the show is so pretty. Like the color scripts and characters aren't just the best in my opinion. I'd say this. I I say the style has impacted me the least because I only started watching and reading it somewhat recently. But everything about it is just so visually appealing. If you haven't watched the anime, I highly recommend it. Or even just watching the manga because the whole thing is just so cool. I'm just telling you to watch the show at this point. It's adorable. Next up is Lavender Town. I really admire her style. It's very cartoony and lovely and cute. And like her, I also enjoy drawing uh, cute things and horrifying things as well. I ended up referencing this cat, this cat drawing here because it was one of the only cats I could find in uh, in uh, her style. The shading style that Lavender Town does is so refreshing to do. I love blending it with watercolor brushes. Uh, Lavender Town is one of the first artists I started watching when I was just starting out with digital art like two, maybe four years ago. It feels like longer. I feel like most people have been influenced by her art in some way or another, and I am no exception. <laughs> This next style was very fun to draw. It's Vivzy Pop style, uh, for the most part. Now, when I say Vivzy Pop style, I mean the illustrative style of the creator hell of Boston Hatton Hotel, uh, Vivzy Madrano. Uh, fun fact, I did an artist study for my art class last year, so it's technically the second time I tried to draw in, in this style. Um, the last time, I tried to do an anthro version of Stella and my, one of my other OCs, and I hate it. I did it twice. I still, the, the second one I hate least. Uh, I still don't, don't like it. Um, moving on, uh, I really like the use of shapes and bold lines and colors, and it's so fun to draw and just look at in general. Sprout looks very pointy in this style, and I love it. This style is also one of the three that I added some form of lighting with. So, yeah. Unknown Spy style is very fun. Her style is what I would describe as very geometrical, with the shape language and her anatomy is just moi. Yes. I couldn't find many cat drawings in her style, so I had to improvise a bit by looking at how she drew the paws on this Roxy fan art. Also, another really cool artist anime. Go check them out. Sprout now has very big old chunky paws and a very big spiky tail, and I am all here for it. Saggy Toys has been such a huge inspiration to me. as one of the people who got me into animation since around the 5th or 6th grade, like around that time like, early middle school. I love how expressive her art is and how they make use of shapes in their warrior cut designs and their- and just their animations are so smooth, like butter. I love them! And seeing how well they've improved over the years is so refreshing and very much inspiring to me and so many other people. I had to include uh, her art style in this because it's just floof! Just floof everywhere! I love it! <laughs> Ursa Day's style is both simple and complicated at the same time. I'm not really sure how else, to ex how else to explain it. The eyes and muzzle for the style gave me a lot of trouble for some reason. Like, even though I was doing the sketch, I was like, how on earth do eyes work in this style? I think I kind of got it, not quite sure if it reads too well. Uh, the paws in this style are very much square and have weight to them, and I, re and I very much like it. Uh, go check them out. <laughs> Jinjinja OWO is another huge inspiration for me. I've been watching them for years, and the way that they draw people is just amazing. I am jealous. <laughs> However, my skill set is no match for them in that aspect, and we're drawing a non human character, so I get it easy. I am not sure if it reads too well, but I tried. They've drawn plenty of cats because of warriors, so I have plenty of style references at my disposal. Sprout looks like the smug little bastard they are. 
I like the lighting style with the combination of the rim light and the blended lighting. I know it's not exactly accurate to uh, her current art style, but I was basing it more so off of their animation style since it's a bit more simple and easier for me to replicate. Uh, yeah. My Hero Academia is one of my all-time favorite shows. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I have many My Hero Academia OCs that I love and cherish very much. However, there aren't really any cats in this anime besides that one cop, so I base Sprout off of him. Uh, since it's an animated style, the shading is pretty simple and easy. I, I know they would have stripes because Mina's hero costume has a more complicated pattern. I, I love how expressive this, expressive this style is and the animation for the fight scenes is just yes, I love it. Um, like overall, I love how like the world building and like how quirks and such work in this universe is, is all very cool in my opinion. Uh, I feel like Sprout would be some kind of abnormal creature with powers that just kind of evolved over time, the same way Quirks did. I mean, like there are like anthro furry characters, like there's like like the, like the cat cop, obviously, and there's also like the dog, there's things like a bloodhound, some kind of like hound dog. Anyway, overall, I really like the style. It's recognizable in their silhouette. Use is great too. Raspberry is the next style, and I love how they draw paws and how they use different shapes of singular designs, and their expressions are just so good. The webcomic The Dog Star is amazing too, and I'm this close to making one of my stories into a full-on full on comic because of them. I love how fluffy their characters are, and just yes, every bit of it I love. I'm not sure if they did a good, good job translating Sprout into their style, but I tried. And last but not least is Luxi. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that name. <laughs> the master of fluffy eyelashes and kitty teeth. <laughs> Count how many times I say the style is expressive in this video. I love how they draw fur and paws and toe beans and eyes. It's all this amazing. And their animations are so smooth and just yes. I would describe their style as graceful, like how old romances and poetry sounds. And overall, their style is amazing and I love it. This is also the only style I did colored line art for, and I, it would made me take a lot longer than I meant to, but I think it was worth it. Except, <laughs> I, I ended up redoing this one because I felt that the pose was too close to the reference I used, and I didn't want to be accused of copying, because I, I know that Luki doesn't like that. Uh, so I changed the pose up a bit, and now I, I, think, I think we can call the, the, this one done. <laughs> And finally, we're done! This took me uh, over six months, I think, because uh, I forgot about this. Um, uh, no, I didn't forget about it. I put it off for like over six months, so I had everything to do in school and all that. Um, so that's why some of the dates on the artwork might be from last year, except for the Luxy one. Like the, re the, read on the read on Luxy one is from this year, because it like a few years ago. Anyway, um, I had a great time with this, though. It took me a while to finish, despite trying to not take too long on them. Uh, it's a different kind of video from normal speed paint, just thought I'd switch up a bit. Plus, having a voiceover saved me time from typing this out in the description later on. Also, let me know if you want me to do another one of these types of videos, since I have a few art so I didn't that didn't make into this video. Uh, as always, have a great day, and thanks for watching! Bye!